Hello, I want to work with you today on understanding place value. So this goes along with lesson one of ready math in fourth grade, but really the whole first unit in fourth grade is dealing with place value, all right? And you've been working with place value since you were all the way back in kindergarten. When you first start working with numbers, you work in the ones place, you start working with team numbers and using numbers in the tens place, and then you start to add numbers together, and we use all of that with our place value understanding, all right? So to review, what you've done previously with place value is looking at base 10 blocks, or sometimes they're called place value blocks, and that kind of might be where you started out with. And so we look at these blocks, these representations, and I can see in the hundreds place, this is kind of a um, place value chart right here. I can see that there are three hundreds, so the digit is three, or I know the value is three hundred, three tens, or sorry, three hundreds, and then the value is three hundred. Tens, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tens, which we know that that is the value of sixty. And then I've got four ones, and we know, well, we're talking about ones, that is the actual value. So when I put these numbers together, I get 364, or I hear 364, all right? Now, you've been doing this for a few years now. You've also taken this idea of place value and using the blocks and done that with addition and subtraction, all right? We are also going to now, though, as we get to fourth grade, we're going to be doing the same stuff, but with bigger numbers. So here's a place value chart. Again, you've worked a lot with ones, tens, and hundreds as you were in first, second, third grade. Then we've moved into some bigger numbers. And now as fourth graders, we're going to go all the way up to the millions place. All right. So we have this number right here, 1,462,153. And I've spaced it out here in our place value chart. What's gonna be really important for you as a fourth grader is starting to remember the order that these place values come in, all right? So hopefully you've got the ones, tens, hundreds, and maybe thousands, but you might have to work on remembering that what comes next is 10,000, then 100,000, and then the millions place, all right? So that's gonna be a big shift for you all in fourth grade because we're using bigger numbers now. The other thing about this first lesson in unit one talking about place value is looking at the different forms of the of the number so here's my number right here and i'm going to start out in standard form so remember standard form is the number just written with the digits all right 23,416 all right so standard form it's the typical form we see so it's called standard that means you're just going to write the numbers like you see them, okay? And we do throw in those commas, especially when we're switching through between the different, um, what we call periods on the place value chart. So here we have this. We put a comma here, which I did right there. We have the thousands period, and then separated by a comma to the millions and so on, all right? So that is our standard form. Expanded form is when I take it and think about the value of the digit itself. All right, so going back to the base 10 box, I looked at the digit. There are three hundreds, which is actually a value of three hundreds. So when we're talking about expanded form, we're talking about the value. So I have 20,000 right here. I have 3,400. I've got one 10, so there's 10, and then six, okay? The last form, which is a little tricky because it's just a lot of writing sometimes, is word form. So I'm gonna read this number again, 23,416. And when I read that number, that's exactly what the word form is. So if you're getting confused about word form, all you gotta do is read this number out loud. And when you read it out loud, you're saying the numbers you're saying it in word form. Now let's look at what I wrote down here. 23,000, all right, so there's my 23, 
And then I know this is in the thousands place because it is to the left of our first comma there. So 23,416. All right. So I want to draw your attention to this right here. When people read numbers, a lot of times they like to put in that word and. All right. But that's actually wrong. We do not want to use the word and when we're talking about whole numbers. This is 23,416, all right? We want to avoid using the word and. And as a fourth grader, it's not gonna be a huge deal, but when you start working with decimals, especially as a fifth grader, that and means something totally different, all right? So we want to avoid using that word. So when you're using word form, I'm going to delete it out right here because we don't want it there. We want to leave out that word and, and we're going to read it just like we see it, 23,416. And that's what I've written down here. So in your first lesson, you're going to be taking what you've learned about place value, about the different groupings of ones, tens, hundreds, you're going to expand that on out all the way up to the millions place. And you're going to do that by showing it in standard form, expanded form, which is, again, the value of each digit, and then word form.